Here at PICO, we provide solutions to help you better understand your bill and your energy usage. If you are a customer who owns a solar energy system, the format of your monthly bill will vary from our regular bills. Today, we're going to take you through a sample solar bill to help you better understand your monthly charges. For most net metering customers, the front of your bill will look the same as a regular PICO bill. Here, you will find an overview of your current charges, including supply, delivery, taxes and fees. More detailed information related to how much energy your system generated is on page two of the bill. The meter information section of the bill details how much electricity you supplied to the grid, as well as the amount of electricity PICO delivered to your home. So, in this example, this household used 1,197 kilowatt hours of electricity from the grid, but sent back 1,286 kilowatt hours of electricity to the grid, a difference of 89 kilowatt hours. Since more electricity was generated than was used from the grid, only taxes and fees are owed. The excess kilowatt hours generated will appear as a credit under the Shared Message Center section on the back of the bill. In this example, 89 kilowatt hours are banked for future use. Then, once a year in May, any excess energy that you banked over the course of the previous 12 months will be credited back to you. In this example, an excess of 767 kilowatt hours were generated throughout the year, resulting in a credit of 5453. As a result, there's no payment due since the excess credit exceeds the current month's charges. The remaining excess credit of $44.59 will then be applied to your next month's bill. We're here to help. To learn more about net metering, please visit us at pico.com slash net metering.